Hi, I'm Richard from ITS TV, and today we're here with the guys from the Fell, um, and Nathan's going to talk us through this. It's the plunge saw, the MT55CC. Really impressive bit of kit. Um, so Nathan, would you like to sort of take us through the features, benefits, and what we can expect to get out of it? Yeah. Obviously, it works and it's compatible with the Mafel guide rail system, but it's also compatible with other guide rail systems on the market. We're giving you a tilt range of plus 48 to minus 1 degree. Okay, that's in your most, most plunges at the moment are sort of 0 to 45, aren't they? Possibly with 1 degree undercut. Yes. So in a 90 degree joint, it just allows that glue pocket so you're not forcing the joint apart. We give you a 57 mil depth of cut rather than 55. The reason we give you that other two mil is when you're on the guide rail, you can still get 51 mil. You can still cut a two inch piece of timber. A positive stop every one millimeter with a fine adjuster on a grub screw, twisting the indicator over, that gives us an accurate depth on the rail or off the rail. When you're on the tilt, when you're on the guide rail, it doesn't matter whether you're at 90 degrees, 45 degrees, anywhere in between, when you're on the guide rail, the edge of your rubber strip is your cut line, as is with other manufacturers. Yeah. But when you're off the rail and you tilt your saw, that cut line will alter as it will with anybody else's saw. Mm. But if you look at this indicator, as I tilt the saw, the indicator moves oh, with comes me. comes out with your blade, yeah. So if I want to do a cut at 15 degrees, there's my cut line. If I want to do a cut at 32 degrees, there's my cut line. My fell have developed the world's fastest blade change. Oh, really? Simply pushing the button, lift the lever, the side of the housing falls down, a spindle lock automatically kicks in, no fumbling for the, uh, a stop button. It even disengages the switch. Okay. So one Allen key, undo the blade, put your next blade on, away you go, wow. and you're back working. We've gone for the enclosed housing for better dust extraction. As you can see, if I open that up, you've even got a rubber seal gasket there to stop any dust escaping. The only place where sawdust can escape from is the gap that is created by the rail. So by simply pushing down this retractable guard, that now takes up that gap. The sawdust is fired into the housing and you're now extracting from the back. Oh, wow. Okay, what about um, splinter free cuts? That's obviously a massive point about that punch saws. They're for the real intricate, delicate operations. They are. How do you deal with stuff like that? Right. Every manufacturer in the world relies on a rubber strip on the edge of your guide rail. As the tooth is coming up, it wants to uh, shatter the brittle edge. Mm -hmm. What Mafel have done is introduced, and it's a patented system where the only people in the world, um, a dedicated scoring function. You've got a rocker switch on the back of your machine that you just push to engage and that does two things. Firstly, it limits the depth of cut to two millimetres when it's up the saws on the guide rail. Mm -hmm. So what that'll do, that allows the blade to glide across the material without any upward motion so you don't get any splinters. So you are just scoring it. You are just scoring it. But more importantly than that, it draws the blade into the body of the machine 0 0.1 of a millimetre, one tenth of a millimetre. So when you do your second cut and you move, flip the switch, you move your blade back out one tenth of a millimetre. As the sword it's is coming is up, 0 0.1, 0 0.10 of a millimetre away from your material. So it's away from the material, it can't shatter the edge because it isn't touching it. Oh, wow. That's a fantastic feature. It is, and it's, it's the main one that, that it's the one that really makes it stand out there. Because if you know you can cut kitchen worktops, laminates, guaranteed splinter-free, first time, every time. 